Okay, I wanted to do a detailed install video of a tick performance clutch master cylinder on the C5 because I haven't really seen a super detailed video. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go through each step and show you how to do it on the camera. So step one, jack up the car, support it with jack sands. Done. Okay, car's in the air. Step two, disconnect the factory line at the quick disconnect fitting by sliding the plastic ring inward. All right, when you order this, it, you, you can order this tool as an option, and I would just do it. It's like six extra bucks. And this is your disconnect tool. So I'm going to get under the car, and I'll try to get a shot of where that fitting is and where you got to put this tool. All right, do that in a second. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that, but up in there, that gold fitting, that's the quick disconnect. So you got to take that little tool and slide it on there and push that plastic ring on the right inward. I'm going to do that off camera because it'll be like impossible to record, but you get the idea. Alright, now hopefully you can see this. You can see I got that fitting disconnected. It actually went way easier than I thought it would. I thought that was going to be a major pain. I don't know if you can see that, but you can tell that fluid is like 20 years old and it's like really black and it's dripping all over my brand new headers, so that's fun. But uh, yeah, that's some nasty fluid. So that's unhooked. So now we'll move on to the next step. Okay, it says step three, remove the driver's side wheel, which I'm assuming they mean the front one. So, now we'll take that off. Alright, the wheel's off. The next step is to remove this panel on the inner fender. And when we take this off, this will give us access to the clutch master cylinder. And uh, we can work on getting that old one out. So I'm going to take that panel off now. Alright, I got that panel out of there. And as you guys can see, the... You can see the frame and door hinges and everything right there. There's your old master cylinder. It's a plastic piece of junk and we're going to get that out of there. So let's see what the next step here is that they tell you to do. Uh, so it says uh, now we got to remove some interior stuff. It says remove the panel in the driver's foot compartment to gain access to the master cylinder and clutch pedal assembly. The courtesy light lens will snap out of its cover and remain in the car. Okay, well, let's go check that out. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. So I think we got to take the. I think we have to take that dead pedal out of there. I think that's the next, the next mission. So we got to get the get the dead pedal out, and then we'll work on the pedal assembly. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. This will probably be a whole bunch of fun. But all right, that's the next step. Okay, I got the dead pedal out. That was easy. This thing was kind of a pain. There's a little metal clip like this. I popped that off first, which that came off surprisingly easy. I just put my fingers behind here, pop that, and then you got to, got to get these two guys out. They're just those push-in things, and that was a pain. So good luck with that. You'll get it, but it, it sucked. Next, you got to get this little clip holds the rod in for the master cylinder. You gotta pop that bad boy off. I just stuck a little screwdriver in there, kind of twisted it and pushed it at the same time, and it'll come shooting out. Now we can take the stock master cylinder out. The next step, you gotta reach up in there, and all that holds that the stock master cylinder, it just like locks in there by twisting. So you're just gonna grab that and turn it counterclockwise to unlock it. Okay. So there's that. You can see it's popped. It's popped loose now. So then you come up here, and it says 
to take these little clips out that hold the reservoir in. So we'll pop these out of here. Oops. Oh boy. Okay. I dropped everything, but that's free. So then you come down here and you pick up all the stuff you just dropped. <clears throat> So, okay, now let's see what else is on the list here. It says remove the clips, and then now you re remove the master line and reservoir assembly. So, now you just gotta reach down in here. You gotta fish this through, whatever. You gotta fish that line out that we disconnected earlier. That ought to be fun. So I'm gonna fish all that stuff out and find this other little piece that I bought and I'll show you what I got once I get it out of there. You can see I got this thing out of there. And uh, if you're thinking that it was gonna be no fun at all, you were right. That definitely sucked to rustle out of there I got it out and uh, and you can see like mine was this foam was all dried out and the line was actually starting to rust underneath so uh, I would definitely assume I mean this is a car this car is a 2000 I would guess that this is the original piece from the factory <sighs> okay <sighs> let's see what's next here we got that out remove that okay now we got to get the clutch pedal out of there it says there's three 13 millimeter nuts and a gear wrench works best uh, it says you'll take the clutch pedal out and put the brake the brake pedal and gas pedal will stay in so now I'm going to stand on my head under the dash here and take the clutch pedal out. Now the next step, you got to put your template on your pedal here. And we were trying to peel this apart and we were pretty convinced that it was not self-adhesive even though it says it is. But after a few minutes of trying, it does in fact peel apart and have glue on it. So we're going to stick that on, drill a couple pilot holes. This hole here lines up with that hole there to give you a reference point. You stick this on here, drill your pilot holes, drill 3 8 holes, and then we'll move to the next step. There, make there. <laughs> okay, we got the holes drilled. It's bolted in. It's ready to go. Then the next step is you don't use the stock return spring anymore. So we're going to take that out, which I don't think... I don't think that thing's too terrible to get out of there. But, uh, so you pop this guy out and you discard it and you throw it away. And then we'll put this back in the car and then we'll put the line, the reservoir, and all that stuff on there. So there's that. All right. Okay, I got the pedal assembly back in the car. We're almost done at this point, but you can see the master cylinder sticking through there. And uh, one thing, one trick that I wanted to mention is that thing's really bulky and it's really kind of tricky to get in there. So what they didn't mention, one thing they didn't mention in the instructions was when I was putting it back in there, it was really tight and I was having a hard time. I don't know, I'm gonna try to show you guys having a hard time getting it up in there and you'll see I disconnected this right here this is the brake pedal or the clutch pedal the top switch the bracket and there's two little 10 millimeter bolts in there and that bolts like up there behind those behind that like off white colored plug you see 
and I took those bolts out and dropped that out of the way because it was almost impossible to uh, get it in there without doing that. So now um, I got to bolt that bracket back in and then we can put the reservoir adapter on, um, install the line, install the reservoir, and adjust the pedal. And other than that, I mean, it's it's almost done. So I'll uh, show you what that looks like once I get it put together. Okay, so I went ahead and I put the new hose adapter on the master cylinder. I tightened the clamp up. I kind of aimed the hose adapter towards the front of the car. And then you take the old reservoir off the original master cylinder and you kind of open that up and drain it, spray it out with some brake clean, get it all cleaned out. And then uh, you can bring it over, put it back on the car, stick it on there, and then I put two zip ties on the hose down on the bottom so it won't leak. And then the last step here is I got to get this hose on here. And, uh, you know, obviously you hook this up and then over the, the quick fitting, I put, I cut the tip off of a glove and put it over there so that the quick fitting of the O-ring and stuff doesn't get dirty while I'm trying to route the hose and everything. So I put that on there to protect it. So I'm going to hook this up, get it to where I'm going, and then you can hook this up, you know, adjust your clutch, bleed it etc but i'm not going to do that because i still have to change my clutch so i'm just going to get the hose kind of where it goes and then i want to be done for now until i get my clutch swapped which that's next on my list so i'll get this in and i'll show you what it looks like when you're when it's all done okay so you can see i got my line in the hose for the reservoirs hooked up all that stuff uh, the hose is tight i chose not they say that you can use the factory grommet you can cut it and you can fit it around the master cylinder I, I i chose not to because it just looks like a really tight fit and i didn't feel like fighting with it i might come up with some foam or something to put in there but chose not to do that so you got that and then you run the hose down kind of loops around and then you can see it goes under the steering shaft back through those wires and back down to like where it hooks up I didn't hook mine up yet, like I said, because I still have to change the clutch, so I'm not going to bother messing with it. So once you get to this point, you guys can you can put this panel back in the wheel well. You're done in there. You don't need you don't need that anymore. You can put your wheel back on. Um, it says in the instructions to um, only adjust it enough to get it to disengage. You don't want to go too far. You can damage the pressure plate and uh, one important thing to note is if you put fluid in this reservoir and you you fill it up do not pump the pedal until you have that hose hooked up if the hose fitting isn't hooked up that fluid's gonna have nowhere to go and if you force the pedal down you can do damage to your new master cylinder that you just can't put it in so, I don't know, that's, that's how you install this. I wanted to give you guys, you know, I wanted to show you how to do it. I didn't, I, I wanted to be able to show you more, but some of the stuff is just basically, um, it's basically impossible to, to get a video of doing it. So I, I showed you as much as I could, and uh, I don't know, I, I didn't want you to have to watch a two hour video of me, you know, fighting my way through this project, because there are times where it will, uh, it's gonna, it'll fight you. You'll run into a couple things like getting the pedal assembly back in was pretty tough. Just little things like that. But all in all, it wasn't a horrible project. And like I said, I didn't see any good videos of how to do this, so I figured I'd make one and uh, maybe somebody could find it useful. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, once I get the clutch changed, I'll adjust it, get it bled, and uh, I don't know. I'll, well, you know how it works out, but a lot of people have them, and a lot of people like them, so I'm sure it will be fun. But thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like the videos. And I'm going to do a video on uh, changing my clutch, too, so that'll be another little how-to show what, what it takes to get that done. So thanks again, guys.